Ladies and gentlemen, today Zach is attempting to run the boards. Mm -hmm. He is Luke's um, protege. Yeah, his uh, what would you call it in Star Wars? Where they have like the little kids, youngling. Yeah, youngling. Yeah, the orphans that they take from other families and teach them to be warriors. Is it not protege? Apprentice. <clears throat> yeah, there you go. Fucking go. It sounds too wholesome. I want to make it more evil. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so today is today's Zach's first time on the board, so we're gonna make it as difficult as possible. Make sure you're following me. <laughs> ah! Can you turn me down, Zach? It's too loud. It's too loud. Headphone warning. <laughs> no, no, turn me up. Turn me up, dude. I'm gonna do some ASMR. Turn me up. Turn me up. Turn me up. Oh. I'm seeing stars. <laughs> Why? From the scream I did. <laughs> I don't know about y'all. Is that you still doing that, or is that just left no, over? No, that's my button mashing. <laughs> <laughs> what sound is that? It's a bussing. <laughs> Pew. What's up, guys? This is the TMG Podcast. This is today's free episode. If you want this episode ad-free and an extra bonus episode, you can find it right now on Patreon.com. Holy fuck! Can we get the clip of that deer hitting him by that car? The mystery of the flying saucers may soon be solved. If you've never smoked weed at literal The Army Air Forces has announced that a flying disc has been found and is now in the possession of the Army. I'm gay as fuck. I'm trying to get my RC The so-called flying stuff. Look at all these fucking chickens. Malone Brown, did you hear this whole? No. Malone Brown dick in your mouth? <laughs> no! 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 Please look at all the signs. Fashion your seatbelt and get ready for the base. Is this the open of this? No, we should start the show now. Okay, it's starting now. Yeah. Okay, go. Yeah, no, no. Okay. Three, two, one, go. Starting now. Starting now. What's up, guys? Welcome and now. And now. Yeah, yeah, just like that. Do it just like that. Yeah. And welcome one back more right time. Now. Yeah, yeah. One. Welcome back now. Yeah. Okay. I think one more I time. One yeah, time. make it a little bit better. Yeah. Welcome, welcome back to now. Podcast. Nice to see all of you guys here. Uh, oh, big announcement to start it off right away. Next week, we are live streaming the bonus episode uh, on our Patreon. Oh, we are? Yes, we are. <laughs> Patreon live stream. Is that news to you? <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> wait, what the fuck? Wait, wait. Hold on. I'm gone next week. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're live streaming next week, November 16th, mm -hmm. and that's going to be at what time? Um shit one 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 <laughs> thank you zach thanks zach nice 1 p.m this is a little faster next time yeah 1 p.m a little PST. bit slower uh what time are we live zach uh 1 p.m there okay, we perfect. go there that's it is perfect. yeah that's, that's right perfect. yeah 1 p.m uh on patreon.com slash tiny meat gang that's gonna be a live episode so i mean and you always know you can get the bonus episodes there every single week and ad free episodes as well but i mean i i don't gotta tell you that you already knew it so yeah I like the way you did that. Yeah. That, uh, nice. Yeah. <laughs> every every kid in SoCal heard that. They're like, oh, yeah, perfect. No, I totally got it. <laughs> oh, yeah, I know. For sure. Oh, yeah, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> oh, live is uh, forever, Wick. Fall. If they do a new Star Trek, that should be like the fifth race of people. <laughs> it's just kids from Orange County. I don't know. He says he's going to go skating later. <laughs> that should be... That should be Dune. That should be in Dune, right? Like yeah. the the people that ride the worms or whatever. Yeah. Like they're just the beach. The, yeah. Just like. Oh, yeah, they're all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, Why are you guys so fucking worried about the worm? <laughs> yeah, I used to live. So fun. I used to live downtown and I moved to Venice and I'm like, this is way better, <laughs> dude, honestly. Is that Mark Zuckerberg? Yeah. <laughs> Mark Zuckerberg is way better, dude. <laughs> 
Yeah, honestly, I, ever since I moved out here, <laughs> has he got a TikTok filter? No, it's the it's the water mask. He's got, it makes. Oh, okay, got it. Ever since I moved out here, I thought Meta was the cool shit, but instead, I found riding the worm to be a lot more fun. <laughs> Sound like that Snapchat filter. That's what I mean. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, I was watching more of like the metaverse live stream because I was I did a whole video on it. Did you? And there's this one. Which did you find a second life to live? Now that we know you chose not to watch Dune and IMAX, you fucking oh, low class citizen. I t- <laughs> yeah, people are ripping on me. This is like How Squid Games you? all over again. How dare you? Yeah, I watched Squid Games in English dubbing. Sue me. Oh. Yeah, I bought Dune at home and I fucking watched it oh. at home. Every film. Sue my ass. <laughs> yeah. What? Do it. Yeah. Every every film nerd is forming a class action lawsuit for damages for hearing that you watched Dune. I just, I don't get it, dude. I can't do anything right. I was going to say, you don't get- I wanted to watch it from the comfort of my own home. I don't fuck with theaters anymore. I don't fuck with them. Yeah, well, you need to be willing to die for this movie, okay? (laughs) If there's something to risk your life for, it's art. Especially (laughs) art consumption. Okay? And Mm. honestly, it wasn't even that beautiful. (laughs) Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. There you go, there you go. Yeah, fire it up. Fire them up. Honestly, kind of boring. Honestly, boring, and it like was ugly. Yeah, <laughs> it definitely did not look good. No, it looked no. horrible. It looked like shit. Yeah, honestly, whoever the DP is did a bad job. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> whoever the DP is, they should definitely never make another movie again. Yeah, that's how bad. That shit was ass. Was. I bought the movie on iTunes and then I returned it. <laughs> <laughs> Every this blood vessel coming out the front of a art kit. Like, you can't even return it. It's one time purchase only. You can't even do that. You're full of t- shit. <laughs> Babe, what's wrong? He didn't like Dune. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, you know what I couldn't get past in that movie? Everything was perfect. The one thing that took me out was the fact that the planet was called Arrakis. Mm. I just felt like I was watching, like whenever they'd mention Arrakis, it felt like they were trying to say like Iraq. Like, they're just talking about, like, the fucking oil war. Oh, yeah. I feel like it was, like, some direct metaphor. I was fully waiting for a dude, that, like, to walk on the scene. They'd be like, this is Borge Gush. <laughs> Bor- George, <laughs> that, are you kidding? <laughs> Damn, that really sounds are you kidding? like a name that was yeah, there yeah. Too, Borge Gush. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I was just waiting for it. <laughs> yeah. And, That's good. But, yeah, I didn't really pick up on that. Because for me, mostly... Yeah, you couldn't pick up on that because you watched it at home. I watched it at home. Yeah. And for me, I didn't know what the fuck was happening. <laughs> the whole movie. Like, the whole time, Kelsey's like, what's going on? And I'm like, well, I'm trying to mansplain to her what's going on. So I'm like, well, babe, you see, it's that... I don't know. <laughs> Legs getting wider and wider. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I- well, babe, you see... <laughs> <sighs> I mean, let me try and dumb it down for you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like on the Wikipedia, like, what the fuck is the plot of this movie? I really did. I re- but I really enjoyed it. Yeah, no, it was, it was an amazing movie. I fucking, uh, Alina, Alina tried to do it at first. She was like, should we watch it at home? And I was like, fuck no. And then I got us to, we went to watch it at 11 in the morning. Weirdest time to watch a movie. Yeah. It was slammed. It felt like seven o'clock at night in there. Really? Yeah. Damn. Packed. Um, and she was like, "Yeah, that was good thing we did. we didn't watch that at home." Like she said it like we uh like we got vaccinated or something. <laughs> like you basically are anti-vax for like the, <laughs> the like the art equivalent of anti-vax. Oh yeah, I yeah. See. Oh, by the way, I watched it on my phone. <laughs> this guy does ivermectin. Unbelievable. This guy does ivermectin. <laughs> It is unreal. This I'm guy. kidding. I didn't watch it on my phone. I watched it on my iPod Touch. <laughs> <laughs> I watched it on my iPod Nano. No. Remember the little fucking <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. No, you fucking you like you like get an output feed into a like a one by one. Like it doesn't even fit the fucking <laughs> it's like a cropped yeah, like yeah. cable, like an airplane. You know you know what I did? I actually bought a retired airplane seat. Yeah. And I piped the movie into that screen and I watched it cropped uh through air airplane headphones. Yeah. I got it. I wanted like a sort of a vintage feel, so I got it printed to a VHS. Nice. And then I used one of those old ass TVs. Yeah. They're like you know, you put in your car, uh-huh. you know, 
Yeah, I, I watched on one of those. I ha- I got it actually printed to a laser disc. Yeah, and I went to a fucking biology classroom and yeah. watched it on the TV in the corner, and I sat all the way in the back of the class on mute. Yeah, yeah, basically the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> No, not even on mute, just using the TV speaker. It was fine. <laughs> I put the volume to 50. It was fine. <clears throat> Did you understand the plot? Yeah, because I watched a, uh, something right before. It was like Dune in five minutes. Did a really good job. Oh, fuck. Yeah. I should have done that. Yeah. It's Damn basically it. wanna... that the planet, it like the, um, what's the, what's the cocaine on the planet called? Some... Uh, mist or sugar. Sweetness. Spice. spice. That's what it is. Spice. Yeah. Spice mm-hmm. is fuel. Spice mm-hmm. is life. Yeah. So the spice basically doubles as like a lot of things. It can be <clears throat> used for time travel. Um, it's like, and that's like the fuel portion of it. Um, yeah. It's just, it has a ton of value. Everyone wants it basically. And it can only be collected on that planet. And so the indigenous people of that planet hate all the, you know, these different, you know, people coming in and taking it from them and killing them all and trying to be in control of it. So in that way, it felt like a direct one-to-one of like America and the Middle East or some shit. Mm, I see. So yeah. Arrakis. Arrakis. But it it was written before that, so it's not. Oh yeah. Good point. Yeah. So they didn't know that. Yeah. But anyway. Hey guys, we want to take a quick break to thank the sponsor of today's episode, Liquid Death. You may start noticing there are strange tall boys of beer in the bottled water section of your local stores. What? Well, guess what? It's not beer, newsflash. It's actually mountain spring water from the Alps, and it's called Liquid Death. Why is this water called Liquid Death? Well, because it will brutally murder your thirst, and their infinitely recyclable tall boy cans are helping to bring death to plastic bottles. They also donate 10% of the profits from every can sold to help... Kill plastic pollution. Did you know? No. Plastic isn't actually recyclable anymore. I didn't know that. And most plastic you throw in a recycling bin just gets sent to a landfill uh, because it's not profitable to recycle anywhere. Yeah. So aluminum is actually infinitely recyclable and actually profitable for recycling facilities. Yeah. I mean, you guys know. We drink the LD all the time. All day, every day. Seriously. And I'm I'm a sparkling guy recently. Uh, I keep it. I keep it. I keep it flat. Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, if you're interested, you can get free shipping on all water and merch at liquiddeath.com slash TMG. That's liquiddeath.com slash TMG or grab some at Whole Foods, Sprouts, and 7-Eleven. Um, yeah, shitty movie though. Yeah, shit honestly kind of s- sucked, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> oh man. It, it, That's that- because I watched it on my smart fridge. <laughs> 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 you kept interrupting the movie to get ice instead of using the dispenser and I was you cooking open- the whole time too yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah I'm trying to remember any specific part of the film that was like really crazy but yeah everyone go watch it on your iPod touch it's a really good movie yeah I don't know. I, I some people. I talked to a couple people that were like, "Yeah, dude, it was just a setup for the second one," which is like, I know the exact same thing that you'd hear after every Harry Potter movie or Lord of the Rings. And it's yeah. Like, no, but how do you? How did you not just enjoy that as a standalone thing? I, yeah, I thought it was amazing. I thought it was incredible. I never once was like, "I'm bored." Yeah. The the world. Besides the whole fucking time. <laughs> 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 I think the best part of the movie was when I got up to leave. That <laughs> felt great to know that it was finally over. Yeah. No, I will say, wa- watching in the theater, this is the one benefit you have at home is the pause button. Because yeah. at ou- at two hours, 20 minutes, my bladder was oh, yeah. to the brim. Yeah. And I, I'm like, I was finishing the movie like on one knee. I like, just like, yeah. all right. It's, and then, oh, yeah. And like every time at theaters... When you're crushing a theater dog too, mm-hmm. I'll get yeah. I'll I'll usually I'll f up like a large diet coke. Yeah, so you, like I'll go full like mm-hmm. that's like a liter and a half. Yeah, or whatever you know. It's just a fucking pound of aspartame. Oh yeah. In your system. Oh, yeah. I'll fuck that up. I love it. Yeah. So yeah, I usually for me it's like 45 minutes into a movie usually. You got to bail. Yeah. Dude, the funniest part was there, there were two exits and I was eyeing one. I'm like, I'm gonna get to the bathroom before everybody. 
I run down the stairs. I run down it. It's like emergency exit. Do not press unless emergency. <laughs> it was like to the outside. I was like, I, I don't know. I just pictured you falling down the stairs. Yeah, just, doop, 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 doop. Excuse me, excuse me. I have to pee. <laughs> you fall down the stairs. And you're peeing yourself. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, I'm not peeing myself. I, I fucking go head first, and then on the second tumble, when I roll over, and then my stomach just hits that stair. <laughs> Then I'm just like a fucking two liter, Excuse me. <laughs> two liter bottle of Coke spinning on the <laughs> yeah, ground. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's kicking me. Yeah, get him out of here. Get him out of here. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe now is not a good time to joke about being walked all over by a crowd yeah. of people. That was bad. That was a bad joke. Was it wasn't a joke. joke. It's a statement. I, that is true. You know, and I'm not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think, um, I think Live Nation actually called the guy who did Woodstock '99, and they were like, "How did you do that?" Yeah, we would like to do the exact same thing. Yep, hundred percent. We have fifty thousand people. We'd like to put in the most danger possible. Yeah, I think that's how they set up that event. Yeah, that shit is just. I oof. mean, if you haven't already heard. Obviously, we're talking about the Astro World tragedy. Incredible how like many parallels there are between mm -hmm. Woodstock '99 and this. Yeah, you know I, everything. Like it's just like it's just I don't know. There's like all this negative energy. Obviously, it's like yeah. In hindsight, that makes sense. But I don't know all like the satanic shit. And obviously, I'm not a religious person. No, nah, it just has. But like all of that demonic, like satanic th themes about the concert. Just makes like, it creepy. Yeah. After makes it so fucking creepy. Yeah. Oh, Doesn't did you, it? Did you see those TikToks of those kids like with the music beforehand? It was like weird, like Mike yes. Dean electro, you know, experimental stuff. Yeah. No, it was a no, wasn't it? Um, uh, they were like playing the sound effect that was a bunch of voices, like layered on top of each other, and it's like a common thing that they uh, a method that they use in horror movies to create unease in people. Oh, they, they were just playing that at the main stage like I all that day. Part. Yeah. Before Travis went on. Oh. Just to make people feel weird, I guess. Oh, maybe that's, that's what, what I'm was. saying. Like I'm not about all of this, I don't know, the like Satanism or whatever and people like, I think like really religious people are like, obviously he's like a devil worshiper, this is going to happen. But I think there's like a layer above that where it's just like, yeah, if you're f if you're just filling this area with just negative shit. Yeah. Like something, like the energy is just bad and the people yeah. are not kind to each other. Mm -hmm. And then that's what happens. Mm -hmm. I don't know. No, it's yeah. Service level impression, but uh, it's just like one of, one of the, <clears throat> some of the fan accounts were like, I, I was seeing people targeting each other, like taking people down on purpose and stuff like that. Oh, bro. Uh, <clears throat> it's like that happens because, I don't know, because you foster that environment, I guess, you know? Yeah, I don't know. I, I guess it, sorry to interrupt, no, no, again, fine, but I just I guess it goes hand in hand with everything people are talking about about his past performances and how he just like kind of encourages that. Yeah, <clears throat> I still I still think that Travis is the artist, and I would say that there's just as much responsibility on Live Nation, and that's the part where oh I'm, yeah, I'm a little bit bugged out by this because it seems like. <clears throat> They're just trying to astroturf him. Like it if when I was it seems like if you uh trash Travis like publicly online, it just feels like there's like bot accounts that like or or no, if you like if you talk shit about Live Nation, it just seems like there's bot accounts that just like swarm to being like, Yeah, well Travis should have stopped it. Travis should have said something. <clears throat> it's yeah. like uh I think if you're like a you know, an events organizer and you see fifty thousand should be more than like two water stations. You should probably have more than like oh what a hundred percent. This is not a simple issue at all. No, the the Houston the Houston PD staff it was like fifteen hundred people total. It's like shouldn't it be like triple that, quadruple that for like fifty thousand people? That's crazy. Yeah, this is a fuck up in <clears throat> many many ways. Yeah, but it, also I don't know what it feels like to be on a stage in front of fifty thousand people, but you have to imagine like he at least saw the. I, I don't know. It's so, I, like, people, some people are like, yeah, he's cheated. What do you mean? It's his only job to keep performing. And the mm -hmm. other half of the people are like, but he, he sees the sirens. Like, many other people have stopped the show at that point and been like, help this person. Yeah. I it, I think, I think it'd be easy to, you know, as a human, 
I'm not saying it's right or wrong, but I'm saying as a human, I think it'd be easy to get caught up in the fact that you have like millions of dollars in production standing behind you and you're compelled to like, uh, all right, they got to handle that because I got to do this because we're about to launch like 500K worth of fireworks and like I need to hit my marks. Like I could see as a person how you could get totally carried away with that. Yeah. Um, but that's what I'm saying. Like, <clears throat> yeah, the, the people around him owed it to him and all, all the fuck more than him, like the fucking visitors. That is so wild to me that it, just how they approached everything. When I went to see Rage Against the Machine however many years ago, dude three acts before like there were sheriffs like staged all around the crowd with like fucking like all the shit that rage talks about is like they had like rubber bullet guns tear gas guns they were in like full riot gear like they were prepared for the shit to like really go off and <clears throat> i don't know you would just think that someone would be like hey his fans are kind of crazy so we need to do a little bit more yeah i maybe i'm wrong here but I kind of feel like there's someone at the top. Maybe somewhere in communication there was like, yo, dude, we need more personnel. And the dude's like, yeah, that's going to eat into my uh, yeah. bonus. Yep. So Yeah, I think that makes sense. We're going to have to, just going to have to make it work. Mm -hmm. It's fine. Yeah. It's fine. Yep. <laughs> yeah, there was probably some corner cutting in a lot of instances. Yeah. In the organization of this. Yeah. It's a fucking tragedy, man. Super. Eight people. You know some sick person up there is like, it's just eight. I mean, it's just nobody should die at a concert. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's fucking horrible. Supposedly there was an ABBA concert last week and two people died at that. At an ABBA show? Yeah. Yeah, but they're hardcore. Yeah. I'm kidding. <laughs> Dancing Queen, bro? You ever heard that shit? Yeah. Hold up, what is this? That goes insane. Two dead, one injured after fall at ABBA tribute concert in Sweden. Tribute concert? <laughs> Uh, so maybe they were part of the act. A man who police say was in his high 80s, or his 80s, fell seven stories and died? Oh. Oh. See that, that I, yeah. Whoa. I only bring this up to say, like, there's ample evidence that you can't, you can't expect 50,000 people to just sort of self-organize. Mm -hmm. That shit is so stupid. To yeah. Me. Yeah, we're going to let 50,000 fucking teenagers in here and yeah, they're all going to stand in place and Yep. <clears throat> they're going to be cool. Dude, oh my god, hearing <clears throat> people talk about what it was like in the crowd and also watching those videos. Horrifying, oh my god. Bro. Horrifying. Yeah. That is straight from hell, seriously. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like torture. Yep. You can't even imagine being that scared and just being trapped cuz yep. you can't do shit. Yep. You have the power of 50,000 people squishing you. Dog. It it it's also brutal in that like everyone who was there and saw the shit they definitely need to go to some therapy you know like kids are gonna have PTSD from that like yeah, yeah. there's gonna be a whole like patch of gener like of this generation that's like I'm never going to a festival again fuck that it it it, it just like the repercussions are so wild and it it just blows my mind that these people who had they had all the data going into it yeah like how does no one fucking go oh all right maybe we should give up a few million and just like do this right yep because you know how it is when you go to a festival like the people that work there they don't give a fuck yep <laughs> even when i went to the austin race uh the like when we were all leaving the parking lot they had like four or five guys that i know they're paying them dog shit to like manage literally like thousands of cars exiting on one fucking road and then some of them just were just kind of like like they just kind of gave up yeah <laughs> it's just like this fucking army of cars and it's like well now what yeah so i don't know bro hey guys we want to take a quick break to thank another sponsor for today's episode hello fresh with hello fresh you get fresh pre-portioned ingredients and seasonal recipes delivered right to your doorstep skip trips to the grocery store and count on hello fresh to make home cooking easy fun and affordable, affordable. and that's why it's america's number one meal kit the holidays can be hectic, but HelloFresh helps keep things simple with recipes and ingredients that cut out grocery store shopping and limit meal prep time so you can spend more of the festive season with friends and family. HelloFresh offers 50 menu and market items to choose from every week, including vegetarian, calorie smart, and gourmet options providing plenty of variety. As fall transitions to winter... 
There's nothing better than cozying up with a comforting home-cooked meal. Recipes like chicken ramen in shoyu-style broth and turkey ragu gnocchi. Make it a no-brainer to skip on paying for your takeout. Now, those are some great-sounding meals, but what's your personal favorite? I personally like, and so this is a, traditionally a Korean dish. It's known as bibimbap. Nice. Yeah. That's my favorite. That's Cody's favorite. Mm-hmm. Um, <clears throat> and honestly, my favorite as well. And you can get Cody's favorite bibimbap and more if you go to hellofresh.com slash tinymeat14 and use the code tinymeat14 for up to 14 free meals and three free gifts. Remember, that's hellofresh.com slash tinymeat14 and use code tinymeat14 for up to 14 free meals and three free gifts. HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit. So you're saying the answer is more people and more and like rubber bullets and <laughs> yeah, yeah. guns. And no, <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. Definitely let's not go that Tear route. Tear gas and we should have that at every single concert. Yeah. I, I well, that concert was crazy because people were like climbing the all the like light fixtures. That shit, dude. So, a much smaller scale, but it was at the NOS Center in San Bernardino, and uh, I I think I'm pretty sure I've told the story before. Basically, right as Rage was like um, getting to go on stage, uh, a couple of people I was with, so a bunch of my friends were down in the pit. And I was looking at the pit and I was seeing it like sandwich more and more, and it was in. The design of the NOS Center is it's kind of like a pantheon. So it's like a concrete area that's like um, in the ground that people like go downstairs into. So it's like it's like some Coliseum shit. Okay. And I'm watching more and more people like go in there. I'm like, ah, that just doesn't seem like it's going to be a good idea. Yeah. And so uh, the two guys I was with, they were like, no, nah, we should go down. We should go down. And then as more people started going, they were like, nah, yeah, like up here is probably a good idea. And then like the, like the, the riot police kind of like start standing up on this platform next to us. And that's the first time I'd seen that. I think I was like 18 and I'm like, what, why'd there be riot police here? That's crazy. And <laughs> these two guys next to us were shirtless, drunk as fuck, just like pounding beer. They're like, when rage gets out there, dude, we're going to fuck shit up. I'm like, Oh, <laughs> I mean that, that really goes to show how crazy this was and how yeah. intense it was because I mean, every day there's shows where there's a full-on mosh pit with people running headfirst into each yeah. other. And you don't hear about people dying no. on mass like they did here. No. You know what I mean? Yeah. No, it's, it's that true. That just goes to show how fucking crazy it was that truly 50,000 people started just mushing together, whatever yeah. happened. like Yeah. I, what? <sighs> Surging? Yeah. <clears throat> I mean- when Rage got on that day, the, there was like a barrier next to me and it broke and it was just like this stream of people just like going into it. And I remember looking at that going like, yeah, nah. And then I, I left three songs in because it just got so crazy. The hill behind us was like covered in fire. <laughs> like I'm getting the fuck out of here. Jesus. Christ. And so, so I'm like driving away and some of my friends like call me. I'm not exaggerating. I think like four or five hours later and they're like, I left at like midnight. And it's like four or five in the morning and they're texting and calling me being like, dude, we're still in the parking lot. We can't get out. And I'm like, that's wild. And then uh, they were telling me about the pit and how, I bring this up to say, because at that show, my friends were like, dude, that's the last pit I'm going into. Like it started out kind of fun and then it just got nuts. And then people were jumping off the fixtures, like into the crowd. And like, my buddy was like, yeah, there was a point where I just kind of felt like I didn't know if I was getting out of this. Um, and so I think about that with how much smaller that audience was. And I just felt fully empathize with everyone in that scenario. Like you're saying, like you're in a sea of 50,000 people. Imagine being like row seven. You're like, I want to go to the front to see Travis and Drake. And then you just look behind you and it's like. <laughs> yeah. That's it. Yeah. Now you just got to survive that shit. Oh, it's scary. Yeah. So, you know, uh, I, it just makes you wonder, will anything change? I mean, yeah, probably. You would hope, right? Like, yeah. Or maybe not. I don't know. I mean, I would like to just see better organization, I guess, and crowd control and stuff. Yeah. But, and I'm not saying like, I don't know, every concert needs to be like happiness and rainbows. No, nah, but. And shit. Like, obviously, you can still have like dark themes to your concerts but i mean i think when you're like purposely playing sounds that make people uneasy like eight hours before the show yeah (laughs) like you're setting up for 
<laughs> something bad, you know? Yeah, just don't do the Fred Durst. Yeah, exactly. Don't. Yeah, don't go on stage and be like, let's fucking kill each other. Let's break stuff. Yeah. I mean, dog, the thing I think is with 50,000 people, you, I think there should be some degree of separation. Like, you should be creating, like, sections. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, yeah. and, and the same way they carve out walkways for, like, front of house and stuff, that shit should be in a crowd in mass like that. Like, it should be, like, some military organized, like, square patches that you have to get into. Yeah. And that way, like, I don't know, maybe people break down the barricades, who knows, but... Everyone should just uh, stay at home and, and watch these concerts in uh, the metaverse. That's yes. what. <laughs> in Fortnite. Yeah, in <laughs> Fortnite. Yeah. So what was his apology like? I didn't see it. Ugh. Is it bad? It's bad. You can play a little bit. I just want, I just want to send out prayers to the, to the ones that was lost last night. We're actually working right now to identify the families so we can help assist them through this tough time. You know, my fans, my fans like, my fans really mean the world to me and I always just really want to leave them with a positive experience. And any time I can make out, you know, anything that's going on. I mean, it's just kind of like that. I, I don't know, man. <laughs> what? I hate the fact that he put a filter on it. So, yeah, so like. Even, even the black and white one, he had to swipe over twice to like get to that. It's like. So like yeah, clearly you're worried. So I hate that. I, so like that's where someone someone brought up there like, dude, I wonder if it was because like he was just like up all night and he looked like shit. So he like who gives a fuck? I don't I don't and know. You're thinking about I look like shit instead I, of the yeah yeah fucking yeah. kids just die. Yeah, I I hate this because I'm like I I genuinely think he's stressed the fuck out because I think that's a crazy thing to process. Hey, dude, like eight people just died at your show. Oh, yeah, 100%. You know, why is no one looking out for this dude being like, don't get, just like sit down. Like, think about what you're going to say next. Like, don't fucking get on Instagram and do this. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> yeah. It just, ugh. it's just bad all around. The bad management. They, sh they shouldn't be, they shouldn't let him run wild for a minute and a half apology after eight people just died. Yeah, but I, I don't know. At the same time, it kind of feels like I would I would feel like that's more sincere if he actually meant it. Yeah. Right yeah. away it has the same vibes as like a bad YouTube apology. In my in my impression. Yeah. I, I did see one joke that I have to admit was really funny. What was it? He was trying to squeeze the tears out of his forehead. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. Damn. It does kind of seem like that. Damn. Damn. Yeah, so you know. Uh if you go to a festival, be safe, man. I don't, I, like, how did that not happen at the Utah rap festival that Andrew went to from Channel 5? Yeah. Did you watch that video? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, I did. Dude. The kid giving his dread to Zilla Comics. Oh, my God. Like, I mean, it has to be the most awkward thing I've ever watched in my entire life. Rough. We don't have to play it. Uh, shout out Andrew, man. That. <laughs> I met him. Uh, Andrew? Yeah. We at a Halloween party. Nice. Yeah. <clears throat> Uh, oh, I mean, when what? was that? Hmm? I'm trying to remember what I did on Halloween. It was on Sunday of Halloween. I guess that was Halloween. Mm. <laughs> it was on the Sunday of Halloween. Oh, Halloween weekend, yeah. Um, Mr. Beast. Are we just going to talk about more? What? Because, yeah, yeah, I, mean, I want to make a joke about this, but. Which? Well, you know, it's going to be crazy when you actually, like, Oh, yeah, I guess it's kind of weird to joke about this right after. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm just going to let people fill in the blanks. You know, if he's recreating Squid Games, it would be funny if he actually got He'll rid of them when they lost. <laughs> yeah, so how much do you think he spent on that? Uh, go back to that. Oh, he said it, right? No. Um... I mean, where is that? That's fucking ridiculous. I would have to say, yeah, like to that scale seems like you're, I don't even know if an airplane hanger would contain that. That seems like the size of an airplane hanger. So I would think it's got to be in like some unused like event center. And it's got like on a field somewhere. Yeah. If you can't see the video for people that are just listening, 
Oh yeah, which yeah, right. Doing that right, again, by right. the way. We gotta, we gotta stop right. alienating. Sorry, our sorry, audio, audio only listeners. And actually, as, out of respect for our dedicated audio listeners who don't always get to watch the video, who are maybe on their commute or something, we've decided the rest of this episode is actually gonna be ASMR, just to treat you. Yes. It's special. Yes. We're yeah. gonna whisper sweet nothings to you for the next half yeah. hour. Yeah. No, so also yeah, sorry. If you can't see this video though for the audio only yeah, listeners, yeah. it's a video of a guy microwaving vomit and then eating <laughs> the vomit. <laughs> oh, come on, tell him the truth. <laughs> it's it's diarrhea in a cup <laughs> going into the oven. Um and he's broiling it. He's trying to get like a caked layer of diarrhea at the top of the cup. <laughs> So it can kind of be like um, a shepherd's pie of diarrhea. Um, no, it's a guy with a beautiful shirt on, yeah. uh, microwaving a glow stick. Yeah. <laughs> Pull over your beautiful shirt. <laughs> no, it's he. Mr. Beast is creating the Squid Game set because he's he's doing it with his fans, I guess. Yeah. So he's he's building an actual practical set where he's actually painting the walls. You know, he's got like a fucking window washing crane. And dudes are painting this shit by hand. And he's going to build that giant animatronic girl, too? Probably something of that effect, you know? Damn. The the scale of this, bro? I mean, <laughs> this? I know. This, like, set right here, I'm going to just wager 250 grand minimum. Oh, minimum? Yeah, if not more. I Like, that, to me, feels like half a mil, just in labor, materials, everything. Yeah. yeah, maybe even a million, dude. Yeah, like that does not all all those fucking like all those all these construction vehicles that he's renting. Yeah, I was like, thinking it would be in the millions. Yeah, the day plus rate then on. having to build that fucking robot and oh, bro, and there has to be some sort of motion control or motion detection system too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then you have to supply all of your guards with guns as well. Yeah, that part is gonna be crazy. I know this is inappropriate to joke about right after yeah. all the Astro World stuff. Yeah. It would be kind of a funny concept. If he just if he, killed 500 fans? This is Mr. Beast. He's like the nicest guy in the world. Yeah, I know. Yeah. We, He's got this insane fucking irony. Team C's charity going on right now. He's trying to save the ocean. Yeah. And save the world. And yeah. he's like, oh, plus we're doing Squid Games for real. <laughs> My kindness comes at a price. <laughs> oh, that's not cool. Come on, stop laughing at that, everyone. That's not funny. It's pretty, it's pretty funny. It's not funny. It's pretty funny. It's not funny thinking about Mr. Beast and his big old smile throwing someone in the ocean. That's not funny. <laughs> Look at all this trash we've, we've cleaned up. One must go. <laughs> all right enough 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 hey guys we want to take another quick break to thank the sponsor of today's episode seat geek did you know your butt has a favorite app that's right seat geek <laughs> yeah we have the seat geek app everyone you, you all know that um look at that Cody's showing off on his phone right now why don't you tell him about a great event that's available right now heat at lakers tomorrow oh damn that actually sounds really fun yeah. Um, Cody, why don't you tell them why a Sea Geek is so beloved by butts everywhere? Well, okay, I'll tell you. All right. It's because it's the highest rated ticketing app. Uh -huh. Whether it's concerts, baseball, basketball, football, festivals, or anything else, Sea Geek puts tickets from all over the web in one place to make buying simple. And they rate every ticket from zero to 10 to make sure you're getting a good deal. Green means good, mm -hmm. red means bad. It means very bad. And you can get uh, $20 off your first purchase with the promo code TMG at SeatGeek.com or on the SeatGeek app. That's promo code TMG for $20 off your first SeatGeek order. SeatGeek, get your butt in a seat. Download the app today. Opium. Man, let's talk about it. Yeah, what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, I've been... A, no, we'll save that. We'll save that. My opium corner. Yeah, this is just a depressing episode so far. Yeah, let's talk about <laughs> it, it. Honestly, the past two weeks has been like some bad shit. Like, yeah. Honestly, bad shit. Yeah. Two, three weeks has been. Oh, you know what, though? I did do a little bit of research on the whole like Bitcoin, crypto, uh, power draw thing mm -hmm. and how it's bad for the environment. Okay. And the verdict what are the results? is it's not uniquely shitty for the environment, it's just shitty. Okay. Got it. So. 
percentage wise in terms of like, you know, output and all that, uh, it, it's a lot, but it, it, it doesn't, I don't know what people's, uh, concept in their mind is of how bad it is relative to everything in the Mm -hmm. environment at present, the power draw of crypto is the same as all of Sri Lanka. (laughs) Got it. So people are arguing like, or people's sort of devil's advocate for that is like, it's drawing enough power as a small country, but it's fueling a technically a currency system for millions of people. Yeah. So, yeah. You know, could you argue that it's somehow useful? I don't know. Um, I mean, it's just like, there was a comment from some guy that was like, it's honestly fucking hilarious to hear Cody talk about how NFTs are going to be clean and crypto is going to be clean. It's like, he, he, he doesn't know anything. I know that Web3 is not going away. Yeah, Web3 is so, not going to go there's away. Only, it's either, you know? I think uh, the the biggest criticism I saw, or like the, um, not biggest, but a, a really important criticism was a lot of crypto farms claim that they have uh, renewable energy, but there's no like hard line for that. So, you know, uh, what's interesting actually is a lot of oil and gas companies, they naturally have leaks in gas and they take advantage of that by they, they're creating like um, mining facilities out of those leaks. Like mm-hmm. they build on top of it and they power, <laughs> they power crypto, but it's like big oil, but they yeah. won't admit yeah. um, like publicly that they're doing it because uh, they like, they don't want the backlash, <laughs> but they're fully taking advantage. So that that's kind of something... That's not the criticism I was getting to. That's kind of something to pay attention to, that yeah. your fucking gas company is like silently trying to get in on crypto exactly. by powering it. So exactly. there's 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 that. And then, um, yeah, it's the part about renewable energy where a crypto farm could, or, or a mining facility could be running off of like gas and bad shit and then have one solar powered, you know, uh, unit. And then they're like, yeah, we have renewable energy. It's like, well... Yeah. Sort of. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Um, it's just generally bad, but there are bigger fish to fry. Yeah. Like cars. Yeah. And planes. <laughs> and planes, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but planes are sick, though. Planes are fucking sick. <laughs> so is crypto, though. Yeah. Yeah. It is. Sorry. It's yeah. sick. I don't know. I love I love that now that um I love now that everyone's bought into Tesla. Elon's like, maybe I should sell. Oh my god. <laughs> Everyone gives their money to him and he's like, well maybe I'll pay taxes now. <laughs> well, here's the thing. Here's the thing. He he said that he has a bunch of options expiring this quarter anyways. So he has to sell. Otherwise they're going to expire. Mm. So I don't know what that tweet was about mm. making it seem like Twitter is deciding whether oh, so or not he's just this- playing everybody. Yeah, if you don't know what we're talking about, he tweeted this week and he said, much is made lately of unrealized gains being a means of tax avoidance. So I propose selling 10% of my Tesla stock. Do you support this? Yes, no. Oh, so he's just trying to get ahead of it. I, I don't know. I have no idea. That's also like the fuck, the stock tanked on Monday because of this. He's going to buy back in? <laughs> like, he's gonna just buy the dip, market dude. manipulation, is it not? I think so. Pretty crazy. Yeah. Yeah, so he's going to have to, He's going to have a huge tax liability anyways at the end of this year, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Um, so I don't know why he made it seem, or maybe he's offering to do this on top of all the money he's going to have to pay in taxes anyways. Yeah. I don't know. But I thought the tweet of him replying to, uh, who was it? Um, Scott. Um... No, 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 not him. It was, it was about the uh, curing world hunger. That tweet. Oh, I was thinking about the one where he was like... Um... Why does your profile picture look like you just came? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was absurd. Yeah. I mean, it, it, uh, this guy is so unhinged. It's it's insane, dude. What the fuck is it, dude? Like, you make enough money and you just start turning to Donald Trump, man. Like, yeah. you just like, you're like, oh, I don't play. I mean, you know, I already have the answer to my own question. Once you have enough money, you don't have to play by the rules. Oh yeah. No, Case in point, the Sackler family continue. Sackler? 
Yeah. Who are they? You know who are the Sacklers? Uh oh. You're not gonna get me, are you? Sackler. Everyone, everyone's baited breath right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Is he gonna do it? <laughs> Is he gonna do it? <gasps> That's gonna be the twenty twenty three version of like movie deaths. Yeah. Instead of like the villain like gun of the head, <laughs> it's gonna be all scenes with like, hey bro. <laughs> You heard of the Sackler family? What's that? Who's the <laughs> Have a sack of these nuts. <laughs> no! No, bring up the world hunger tweet. When he tweeted, whatever, he made like five and a half billion dollars in one day or something like that. Oh, and he's like, how can this fix world hunger? I'll give it away. Just yeah, taunting it in front of yeah, people. Yeah, or what was the what was the fucking well, organization eat? that tweeted, "Hey, this could solve world hunger." You want to eat? And you, I just I I, mean, I thought it was pretty funny that he turned around on them and was like, "I'll do it. I'll just give it to you. Just prove how it's going to be done." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go up, go up. Um, uh, the WFP, uh, you know, the UN World Food Program. UN Food Program. Yeah, two percent of Elon's. Elon Musk's wealth could solve world hunger, says director of UN food scarcity. And so then this person calls him out saying that they raised eight billion and they still weren't able to do it. So why do you need Elon's money? Yeah. <laughs> so he was like, uh, I'll just, as long as you can open source your accounting and prove how this can be done, then I'll just give you $5 billion. Oh my God, dude. Yeah, I mean, I thought that was a pretty funny response. It's hilarious. Yeah. Objectively Flipping funny. Them, be like, well, ball's in your court now. Yeah. You got to solve world hunger, actually. <laughs> Pretty absurd. Hey, guys, we want to take a quick, quick break, break to, to thank, thank the sponsor, sponsor of today's, today's episode, episode Stamps. Stamps. If you're looking for ways to skip the trip to the post office and dodge all that hectic holiday shopping I mean, traffic, traffic, why, why not, not save time, time and, and money with Stamps.com? Stamps.com lets you compare rates, print, print labels, labels, and, and access stamps. exclusive discounts on, on UPS and USPS. USPS. Sorry. USPS services all year long. Whether you're selling online or running an office or side hustle, stamps.com can save you so much time, money, and, and stress, stress during the, the holidays. holidays. Yes. Access all the post office and UPS P shipping services you need without taking the trip mm -hmm. and get discounts you can't find anywhere else, like up to 40% off USPS rates and 76% off UPS. UPS. If you spend more than a few minutes a week dealing with mail and shipping, Stamps.com is a lifesaver. Save time and money. money this holiday season with Stamps.com. Sign up with promo code TMG, TMG for a special offer that includes a four-week trial, free postage, and a digital scale. No long-term commitments or contracts. Just go to Stamps.com. Click the microphone on the top of the page and enter the code TMG. TMG. Yeah, just, Elon Musk is fucking crazy. Yeah. He's a, really unhinged. He's a dickhead. He is, because he's kind of above the law. Yeah. He's like too big to fail. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, and the government like relies on him mm -hmm. for like space travel. Yeah, they, they need him to succeed so when global warming happens, they have an out. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's a fucking, we need to keep him going because how else will all of us get to Mars yeah. when all of you die? Yeah. That's, that's the thought process. Yeah, yeah. No, they're calling him weekly being like, can you- just fucking stop. Cut it out, dude. Yeah. That was kind of funny, but it's stop. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're just on they're all on conference call. Elon. Elon. You know, me and the guys were thinking maybe I could... voted yes on that poll. <laughs> me too. Me, me too. too. We think you should do it, man. Come on, 10 build us. I had to vote no just to keep it even. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Elon. It's funny. It's all fun and games. You're fucking around. I get it. Just pump the brakes a little bit. Just we just need you to make it easier on us so we can keep things going. Yeah. I'm also, that guy's that guy's pee pee do look like he coming. <laughs> <laughs> and then Elon. Well, I uh, <laughs> I want to pull my balls out on IG Live. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you do. Huh. Well, uh, we would suggest, I mean, it is funny. It's you know, definitely I, I funny. Was, we I, was talking to, I was talking to Joe and I was 
thinking to myself, no billionaire has ever pulled his balls out on IG Live. That is true. That, I don't know. This guy's fucking insane. It is true. And, I, I, uh, you know, despite the fact that we do think it would be funny, right? Maybe we, maybe the, uh, we wouldn't suggest. The writers we need you could. Because the space learn uh, relies on you for, and we don't want, don't pull your. When I pull my balls out on IG Live. No, don't do that. Hey, Hi. hey, Elon, hey, hey. Uh, Gary from uh, Maine here. Yeah, Mayor. Uh, we talked about those kickbacks a couple years ago. Listen, <laughs> hey, buddy. You know, I got a, I got a, I got a son, and uh, he kind of did something similar. You know, he's not you. He's not you, but he. It didn't. It just. It didn't go well for him. And I would just imagine, you know, a guy of People your. People need to see my balls. <sighs> Yeah, see, that's what my son said as well, and it's just... It would be so funny. It's just you can, like... <sighs> I'm going to teabag my phone live. They hit mute. Boop. I, I think we just got to let him do it. I think he just has to... Just, we're just going to let him do it. Boop. Yeah, you know what, Elon? Sh shoot it, man. Go for it. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> oh, yeah, good chat. Good chat. I'm already live. <laughs> <laughs> You're live. This whole phone call. Oh. And my balls have been out the whole time. <laughs> Boop. Fuck. <laughs> he fucking pranked us. <coughs> Billionaire Elon pulls small balls out on Instagram Live. This is an atrocity, complete disrespect for the modern populace. <laughs> Yeah, my balls are quite nice. <laughs> Tesla stock. <laughs> Sky Increase rockets. it, yeah. <laughs> Lol. Thousand dollars a share. Lol. Doge Daddy. Best <laughs> balls online. Best balls in finance. Best balls. Billionaire balls. <laughs> moon balls. Moon balls. <laughs> Elon's balls are going to the moon. We need to create a DAO for Elon's balls <laughs> so we can vote where they come. <clears throat> Uh, today I'll be starting a DAO for my balls. You can all volunteer which of your wives I will come on to. <laughs> the first 500 token purchasers will get a picture of my dick to their Tesla. That fucking guy, dude. I hate him. I like, I hate him. Oh, dude. We're at. The, we're, go ahead. Sorry. Uh, he's kind of the new Trump on Twitter a little bit. No, he is. You know. Oh yeah, all the new. You know, hate, hate Trump like, or love Trump. He definitely left a void on Twitter. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know. Yeah, people are just trying to power vacuum that uh, that attention. Yeah. Elon saw it. All the, all the news organizations are you know calling Elon up. Yeah. Elon, hi. That's what David, I'm saying. New York Times. Yeah. Heard you're gonna pull your balls out on Instagram Live. Yeah. We'd love to cover it. Yeah. We'd love to cover the story. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Off the record. Need those clicks. Off the record, we'd love to help. Any way you'd like to get some more coverage on pulling your balls out, we'd love to make a moment of this. <laughs> That's just from me to you. Dude, I so uh, let's just go to my opium corner real quick. Wait, wait, wait. Speaking of billionaires, shouldn't we watch this oh. video first? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we should. Just yeah. so while we're on the topic of billionaires, yeah. this shit is so Bezos long. getting cucked. Oh, my God. Oh, bruh. <clears throat> Look at this so this is a video if you're just listening this is a video of jeff bezos microwaving his own vomit <laughs> and then he takes it out and he eats it <laughs> no, it's jeff bezos at a party and leonardo dicaprio is chatting to his lady um, and she is just like enthralled by his face and this is a this is a oh man okay this is a tasteless comparison to make but i just it's kind of like if you're front row at a concert um, yep. with your lady and yep. the artist points to your lady and is like, you want to come backstage? And she's like, <gasps> in, in front of 10,000 people. Yeah. He's like, you. Yeah. Voice echoing to the, yeah. you, you. In the silver. Yeah, yeah. And you're like, wait. You want to come no. party with us? No. no. <gasps> I'd love to. No, yeah. babe, where you are you going? You look like a big fan. fan. Yeah. <laughs> the whole band would love to meet you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what do you say, everyone? Come backstage. <laughs> Come backstage. Come hey, wait, wait, wait. Backstage. Is that your man back there? Back there? Ooh. He, look, he looks like he fucking sucks. Sucks, sucks. Yeah. 
Does that suck? Well, I don't. I don't. We've been together for seven years. Yeah. Come on up here, here, here. We all love to meet you. Me. Go backstage. Go backstage. She doesn't go backstage. Leo being the the champ that he is, he's like, no, 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 no. Uh, you know, you got, uh, you got it. I don't know what he says. What does he say? I don't know. I don't. I don't know what's happening. In you see that? Which started a little bit judgment. earlier because it looks like she's like hugging him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Also, is that the like reporter or the journalist that he left his wife for, Bezos? Maybe. Is it? I have no clue. Who is that? Yeah, but who is she? I'm sorry. I'm just hypnotized by Leo's just magician hands. Look, look at the roll of the palm right here. <laughs> this, <laughs> that dude is doing Jedi mind tricks. Ah, ah, ah. Ah, ah, ah. You will stay with your man. Goodbye. I will stay with my man. You're going to stay with me? Why would you stay with me? I don't, I don't know. Lauren Sanchez. Yeah, new, oh, a news anchor, okay. Oh, so when we were joking about him wanting to fucking hook up with a news anchor. Yeah, that's it was real. real. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. I didn't even know that. <laughs> I just said that shit. That is, ugh. Oh. That's all it took, man. He did one, he did one Fox 11 interview and was like, I'm going to throw it all away. Yeah. I mean, fuck it. I'm going to just throw it all away. What's his response? Oh, yeah. Bezos responded. Ugh. Leo, come over here. It's like, no, you're not part of- something to show you. You're not part of this. No, he Stop. is. He is. <sighs> Billionaires are the new influencers. That's what you're not getting. <laughs> they really are. Bezos, Trump, I Elon. Yeah. I hate it. Yo, you're going to hate it when he, start, when he gets on Twitch. Oh, my God. Hi, guys. Jeffy here. Yeah. I'll be live three days a week. Playing Rubet. <laughs> <laughs> mm. uh, yeah. Oh. Yep. And and isn't there's nothing worse than a billionaire with personality? Yeah, I know. I just I just was talking about Elon's tweets being funny. Yeah. You you know, you love you love it. You hate that you love it. That is kind of funny though. That yeah, you hate it. Yeah, funny, I hate it too. I hate it. Yeah. <laughs> like that was funny. It was pretty funny. Billionaires are people too, bro. Yeah. Hey guys, I'm self-aware. You know, be, <laughs> you know, you know, you know. He did that right after they took yeah, that picture. Yeah. He was loving that shit. Oh yeah. And all his cronies that. were like making sure they laugh so he doesn't throw them over. Yeah. <laughs> the one person who was like kind of mid, he just grabbed him by the collar and. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I didn't know Leo was on this trip. Ah. <laughs> Best part. <laughs> of <laughs> No one's ever going to know. This is my island. <laughs> this is where Mr. Beast is throwing his squid games. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro. Billionaires, they... Oh. We can start the opium corner now. <clears throat> uh, arguably one of the best documentaries I've seen in my entire life. Which? The Crime of the Century. It's on HBO Max. Okay. It's not really being talked about. It's like... The historical, ver like uh, the historical version of that show, Dope Sick, I've been watching on Hulu. It's like, uh, and it it sort of corroborates things I've been reading in that dude, uh, Michael Pollan's book, Your Mind on Plants. Like he talks about Purdue Pharma. This family, bro, uh, I've never wanted to see a group of people dismembered and skinned in public ever okay. until I read. It is like impressive. The fucking, oh how evil they are like the family that runs purdue yeah okay the you know if you if you plan on watching this uh pause i guess and go watch it and then come back and listen to the last three minutes <laughs> after you watch i want to watch it too so don't ruin it for me i won't ruin it but basically like i mean i know what happens <laughs> no no you know no no the the path the old, to getting there is the opioid epidemic it's not over dude yeah. like no i know what they what they have created like is just, oh, it, and this isn't covered in the documentary, I know, but they've recently gone through like a big class action, right? Where they've like agreed to pay this money and I'll let you kind of find out some of the details. They, uh, the family 
went and got uh they 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 um requested individual immunity so they personally could not be held liable and okay. they fucking got it oh my god but the doj is like uh-uh like they're appealing that they're like no fucking way and i'm fucking praying like the the corruption how far up the ladder they got it's just like oh it it makes you like lose faith in medicine and science in the justice system it's so fucked also you know maybe this is a reach but like how funny is it that a family that's just all about getting to the bag is called the Sacklers? Yeah. <laughs> like literally anything to get the bag. Yeah. It's just, they are all Batman villains. Yeah. It's fucked up. And the conviction they have about like, we haven't done anything wrong. Yeah. <gasps> but yeah, it, uh, you know, Johnson and Johnson. It's yeah, a fucking damn shame. Major supplier of opium. No way. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Huh. <laughs> What's crazy in Michael Pollan's book is there's this whole like thing where everyone has this, um, the general population has this impression that opium has to be grown in foreign countries, but that's not the case at all. Like up until 1915, American farmers would like receive pamphlets that were like, oh yeah, opium's a good crop. Like you should grow that. Jesus Christ. And then the DEA was like trying to silently curb that. So they quietly made it like a major felony to grow poppies. Um, and like, as an example, some dude, uh, he was put on trial for 10 years and a million dollar fine for having a stack of poppy flowers that he bought from a flower market. <laughs> hmm. Uh, and like, so they, they had this whole like propaganda, like campaign on the news where they're like, Oh, opium can, it, it must be grown in temperate climates. It can't be grown in America. Like, blah, da, 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 da. um, there's actually tutorials on YouTube on how to make opium tea. And I say all this to say, you know, it's fucked <laughs> is in the beginning, the dude's like a more reliable, uh, source of this is Kratom. And okay. I thought about when you were like bringing up all those kids, like trying Kratom and shit. Oh like, yeah. They're just doing like, uh, a, like a steroid version of like, like opium, I guess. Cause it has like the alkaloids to like make you high and all that shit. But just, yeah, this documentary, I don't know. It. It made me just lose faith in everything. <laughs> I gotta watch that. It's a shame. It's a damn shame how much of a shadow this is cast over. Mm -hmm. Like you said, you know, I don't know, organizations and science and <clears throat> scientific process. And yeah. Because at the same time, there's cool shit happening too, like the COVID pill. You see that? Yeah. It, it, but uh, the problem is like that can't be viewed in its like in any bit of purity because people will go watch something like this and be like, well, if they do that, then what's to say that isn't that? Yep. And I think that's the sickest part of it is like, this is a family that learned medicine and then we're like, ah, oh, well, fuck people. Yeah. This is how we make money. And uh, they, they've, they've been doing this since uh, like the 50s, hmm. 40s, 30s. Like they started early. Uh, they're like a big reason why drugs are marketed the way they are now uh because i think back in the day it was like it wasn't even conceivable to be like a commercial for medicine why would you do that it's you know it's, it's just purely like you get it when you have ailment so it's fucked i'm gonna watch it yeah Not everyone should seriously you know what i'm watching right now is sopranos i i was gonna yeah i was gonna start that up oh it's good i've yeah. never seen it I've never seen it. It's so good. Me either. Oh, really? Maybe we should start a Sopranos podcast. I'm down to chat about it. For sure. Is is that what's going on right now? Are you fucking me? Who's that? Uh, is that what this is? What? Are you guys fucking me right now? Is that Tony Soprano? No. Okay. Kendall. <laughs> I wore his hat and his jacket, so I'm being I'm being Kendall today. Oh yeah. Are we are we we could talk about succession in the bonus, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. I love him. <laughs> what? Oh, <laughs> fuck off. Oh, fuck off. Oh, fuck off. Fuck off. <clears throat> Do you have a fetish Man, for I'm watching what? dad die? <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> I mean, just, nice. There's so many good quotes in yeah. that shit. Yeah. You couldn't get him a timely Evian? Oh, damn. 
What's yeah. that guy's name? The actor that played the investor? Adam Brody? No, that's no. not Ad- <laughs> this is the guy from the OC. Adrian Brody. Adrian Brody. Killed it. He was really good. So I'm down 4% on my 10%. That's 350 million. Yeah. How am I going to get that, that back? back. <laughs> oh, so oh the, that's the, cold. Oh, yeah. He's like, are you going to get it back? Or is Sandy and Stewie going to yeah. get it back? See, I think. 350 million. He's, he's, that's 10% of the 4% he owns? Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. 3.5 bill? Yeah. Big company. God. Bigger than, what's Tesla valued at? 100 bajillion? I don't know. <laughs> Trillion dollars? Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Um. Anyways, yeah. Coming up in the bonus, guys. TikTok murder. <laughs> Just more. Sh- Timothy more Chalamet on YouTube, shit, man. Uh, the UFC fight. Man eating foods. Um, possibly That'll be the fun. F one race. Oh, and the very special, highly, um, you know, exciting. Completely drowned out by all the negative energy in the media right now. Was the uh. The boxing event, Social Knockout 2. Oh, yeah. I'm excited to talk about uh, that. Yeah. So, yeah, we'll be talking about that in the bonus episode. Oh, and the course, Gucci butt plug. And the Gucci butt plug, of course. Mm-hmm. Uh, you can find that on patreon.com slash tinymeatgang, as well as the live stream episode that we're doing next week. <laughs> next week, yeah. Tune in. We'll be live <clears throat> from the ship. Excuse me. <laughs>